All right, what's good, YouTube? I am back with another video. Third video so far. I just got a package in the mail. These should be the Kith Flamingos from Stock X. I hate paying resale for things, but I could not cop this on my own. I tried on Kith.com. I could have copped Copas, but wasn't a fan. I don't resell my shoes, so I let someone else have them. Paid a decent price for these. The price of this and my size is was going down a lot and I jumped on it and so far the price has gone back up so pretty good deal I think. Um, we got the Kith Pink Flamingo box. Uh, just gotta take this out. Nothing else in the box. Put that down. Yep. Nice. Kith branding in gold. It's gold foil. The box is kind of beat up. A few nicks. This whole part right here. This whole thing right here is like ripped. I don't know if you can tell. There's clearly the knife is going right between the box that whole part is ripped that kind of pisses me off that someone will treat their box like that or probably just shipping damages but I copped a size 11 and a half normally wear a size 12 in UBs but I have a pair of the blue crush aces and I got those in 11.5 for retail those fit pretty well um, information of the invoice Snap a pic, show us your verified authentic tag, upload to Instagram, hashtag StockX, get featured, brag to your friends. That's pretty cool. Not sure if I'm going to do that. I don't really mess with Instagram and things like that. Um, that is cool. They give you a StockX sticker. I think this pair should have the updated StockX tag. Yep, it's the updated circle tag. Uh, please inspect item before removing tag. All claims null and void if removed. It's supposed to be verified authentic. Paper's nice. It's not ripped up or crumbled like the box. Um, you got the shoehorn. So these check out. I've been looking so far. The no one has really made any good fakes of the aces yet. I don't think they've made fakes of these at all. I'm not too sure. I mean, there have been like fake sample pairs out there, but I'm not too sure. So, as many of you may know with other review videos, uh, these are the Kith Ace Pure Controls instead of the normal like nylon or whatever polyester material. The pull tabs are indeed suede. They're nice, super soft. Three stripes are 3M. Prime knit's good quality. The Ultra Boost branding right here is just matte. There's no silver or gold. Um, torsion system is white. Torsion bar is white. Torsion system is white. This is the torsion system right here. A lot of people will say that the torsion system is black, but some pairs this will always be gray. This is actually the torsion system. This is the bar, so it's different. A lot of people say the wrong things about the shoes. Not a fan. You got to get your details straight. Research the shoe. Get the information correct. Uh, shout out to one of my favorite YouTubers in Canada. S2W. He always does his research. Pretty much gives his information spot on every single time. Shout out to you, man. Yeah, so these are pretty sick. Pretty nice. Again, it has the Kid Flamingo uh, insoles probably see better images on other videos I don't have a macro I'm filming me on a GoPro right now it is ortholite it's non removable you can remove it if you want but these should fit fine I'm gonna try these on right now it might look a little bit awkward yep they fit totally fine and I'm wearing normal socks if I wear like thin Adidas socks, it should be a lot better. 
everything checks out. I'm pretty happy. Legit pickup from StockX. I haven't really heard of fake pairs slipping through StockX, but I've heard that people are trying to mimic the StockX tags. The old ones that used to be a rectangle, those have been faked a lot. But now it's a circle and they're planning on trying to make and change the tags every so often. So that way they can trip up the people that are making the fake tags and putting it on fake pairs. So, so far, these are super legit. I like these. I do have the blue crushes up there. Alright, so here's the pair of the blue crushes. I got lazy, so I'm just going to cut the video. So the box, this box would just be all white. There's of course no kit branding. And so these would be the two pairs. This would have a blue torsion bar and pink torsion system. So pretty much they're exactly the same. Prime knit's gonna be the same. It's not any different between the two pairs. Of course this, it's gonna be different. The pull tab right here, it's gonna have kit and white. This is the standard Adidas branding. I don't think this pull tab is 3M either. I'm not too sure. But pretty much, yep. Everything checks out, boost is real. Super happy with this pickup. It's one of my grails. Uh, just the Ace Pure Control boot. I don't play soccer, but when I saw it and it's full prime knit, I just imagined it'd be like a city sock on feet and it totally feels that way. It feels like a city sock on foot, the upper, and then the bottom, Ultra Boost bottom. So if you like city socks and you like that full prime knit upper, but you don't think the NMD has enough cushioning because of the EVA plugs, this would be the best way to go. I mean, usually these are pretty rare. It's UK exclusive most of the time. Sometimes Kith does get them. I think I've heard Ronnie Fike saying that one of his favorite shoes is the Ace Pure Controls. Uh, when I met him at the Maxfield pop-up for a City Sock 2 release, he was wearing triple black Ace Pure Controls. So that was pretty dope. Uh, pretty much that's it. I'm going to enjoy these. I'm going to wear these probably a lot, especially since it does also have the Ortholite. It's the only pure control that has Ortholite. You could probably buy Ortholite insoles online and put them in your shoes. But just this having Ortholite standard is awesome. It's probably going to have the best comfort next to, let's say, like a 9317. I do have a couple of those, but I think sometimes it's too mushy. So thank you StockX for a legit pickup. I'm going to enjoy these a lot. All right. Thanks for watching. First come, first served. Peace.